Good morning, Skyhawks. I'm Avery. And I'm Sujata. Shout out to... September Born Skyhawks. More about birthdays later in the show. Welcome, Welcome to, to SNN, SNN 5. 5. Your school news in five-ish minutes. Today is Wednesday, September 14th, 2022. It's a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. Would you it's rather try... Day. It's a hawk day. Yeah, it's a hawk day. Oh. It's a hawk day, and it's September 14th. Which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. Would you rather try something and fail? Or not try something at all in fear of failure? I think I'd rather try something. Yes. Yeah, Today is International Dot Day. And a great day for this book about a girl named Vashti. The protagonist of Peter H. Reynolds' tale, The Dot. Available for you and the LMC. How about a phone-in question about dots? What is the origin of the polka dot? A. Punctuation. B. Dance. Polka. C. Dalmatians. Or D. Graphic Design. Oh. Student center, student center activities today include mindfulness journaling. That's at all lunches today. September birthday data is here for our Skyhawks. Happy First, thanks birthday. to Jamie for our artistic design and expertise for the birthday wall in the hall. There are 51 Skyhawks with birthdays this month, and we shout it out on the news around the middle of the month. So, 51 Skyhawks born in September and 13th are 6th graders. And there's a tie at 19th for 7th. And 19th for 8th. Of those 51 Skyhawks, six are birthday septuplets who share the 17th of September as their birthday. All your names are on the wall. And Jamie gets the wall done for each month. However, if you prefer a different name or nickname, do let us know. Skyhawk Sports News is about our next meet, which is a home meet today against Pacific. Since it's a home meet, it's always great to have people show up and support the home team. We wanted to show that picture of the boys cross country team again. And shout out their success this season. Way to go everyone. They have fun running and that's amazing. Our Skyhawks continue their strong season. We'll let you know how they do at Saturday in Longview. I bet you'll do amazing. There's Joey, Petunia, Spud, also, also Barley, and Banjo, and Summer, plus Jackson and Bo. And last but not least, Paws, with a Z, and Gus. All Paws on Deck has 10 dogs competing for the dog mayor. Which one will win? It's all happening soon. These super cute and amazing dogs are part of all paws on deck, and they are ready for your vote. And we're giving you a link to all their details. So you can read why they should be the next dog mayor. Voting is happening online now, and there are details about donating. All money raised for this Kama High School DECA event goes to the West Columbia Humane Society. So please consider donating. Phone and reveal time right now. Phone and reveal time. <laughs> <laughs> Reference to the term polka dot can be found as early as 1871. Polka dots got their name from the dance of the same name. Although they're not directly connected to the dance in any way. The polka dance was very popular at the time the pattern became fashionable in clothing. Good they job to all of us in SNN because w this is a pre-recording. We had some technical difficulties and the internet went wi down. Wi-Fi wi wi <laughs> wi isn't we working tried right now. Hot spots. We, we tried so hard, so yay for us. <laughs> Today's thought from the fashion designer, Mark Jacobs, there's never a wrong time for a polka dot. Have a thankful Thursday, Skyhawks. And remember to follow the Sky Code. <laughs> Which is be safe. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be kind. Thanks, thanks for, for joining, joining us today. today. And remember, we, we are, are all Skyhawks. Skyhawks. <laughs> At this time, please, please stand, stand for, for the, the pledge. pledge. <laughs> <laughs>